Okay, Dallas, we're back. Sorry, I, I heard you in the background, but I didn't get what you were saying. But uh, certainly uh, heard you coming in there, and it sounds like uh, conditions have really improved on your last over. So if you could come back again there, my friend. Nine Tango, Charlie Zero Two here. Okay, hey, no problem. I was just uh, just saying there's a little bit of delay on the uh, email. Uh, I didn't realize it had been that long. I don't know when it came in, but um, and then uh, once I realized you were on upper sideband, <laughs> that made it a little bit easier. But uh, you're sounding great, man. Uh, nine plus on the on the meter, and as far as uh, you know, like a true signal, uh, you know, report you're you're five seven and five nine bouncing back and forth. The great audio, crystal clear. Uh, just dead on frequency and sounding great as always. Uh, back to you, Andy. I thank you so much, Dallas. I really appreciate that, and you're coming in like a local here. A uh, real nice, punchy audio. I just did. I just uploaded a video, a video gate there of a gentleman in uh, in BC, um, Jeff, out in BC, and uh, he had he had an awesome signal as well. And you're doing just as well or better. Absolutely incredible. Well, I'm I'm glad we have uh, good conditions today. They've uh, they've been really good. We've been in a really good cycle. But you know how it is sometimes. Once you uh, when you when you realize DX just opened the door to somewhere new, it either stays for five minutes or two hours. You just never know which one you're going to get. Uh, QSL. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, it's it's just the nature of the beast. Whatever is mother nature decides to throw at you. But uh, yeah, the conditions have been really favorable the past while, and I I would suspect that will continue. Uh, for the foreseeable future anyway. Dallas, if I could, I'd like for you to get uh, get your full call on the video. I, I know it myself, but uh, just for those who may be listening in for uh, for your own prosperity uh, for years to come, uh, on your next over, please. Uh, yeah, copy that, Andy. This is uh, UDX 347, Operator Dallas in Manchester, Tennessee. Uh, working conditions are the same. I'm still on the uh, waiting list. I ordered some parts. And it looks like it's going to be November the 27th before the parts even ship out. So I'm kind of stuck where I'm at. Uh, I happen to run my tuner on the upper channels um, and run, running with no power. I have a small portion of amplifiers that I just can't run right now um, until I get my antenna retuned and uh, some other things. But... We'll get there eventually, a few more weeks. I've been doing all the prep work, so that way when uh, when that day finally comes, I can I can make the most out of the money I have to spend on uh, renting the lift uh, to get up to the tower to take the antenna down, so on and so forth. So, hey, it'll all work out like it's supposed to. I'm not too, too concerned about it. Uh, back to you, Andy. Yeah, it sounds like a, a pretty uh, detailed uh, project you're on, on uh, for sure. And it's going to take a bit of time, like you say, and a bit of investment. But uh, if uh, there's any comparison to, as to what you're doing now, we certainly need to. You see, you, you certainly need to let me know when you do have your uh, everything all back up and running the way you want it. And uh, yeah, you're going to be very impressed for sure, because you're smoking my receive right now, yeah, sounding just like a local. Yeah, well, good deal. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put up a little gate uh, of you as well on my channel here just in a little bit. Um, I put a couple other videos up uh, the last few days. If you had to stop by there lately, I've got a, a couple new ones. Uh, kind of, uh, like I said, kind of a little bit of the prep work uh, for the events to come. I posted up just a couple little short videos. Uh, you'll see them. Yeah, I'll have a look. I've uh, I've been on your channel before. I don't know if I've seen it recently. Recently, uh, I get sometimes I get a bit confused because I believe there's one or two other people, uh, UDX uh, channels, and that's what uh, that's what they're listed as. And um, I think there's the 486. I can't remember what it is. But anyway, there's a couple of people I get confused with, and I'm not exactly sure who I'm watching at the, at the at that time at that time. But uh, I'll certainly uh, drop by your channel there when I get a chance very soon. And have a look at the videos, and I'll leave a comment, and certainly give you a great big thumbs up. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my my name is in uh, in my channels, uh, UDX. Uh, actually, I think it's my first name, uh, Dallas, and then uh, Rice, and then and then the UDX three forty seven. So I think there's only one Dallas. 
uh, with the UDX number. Um, that shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too hard there once you figure that part out. Well, how's the uh, how's the weather going up there? Starting to get uh, cold yet? It's still uh, hot and sunny here. Yeah, we've we've had a downturn in the uh, temperature for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's like fallout now, but uh, certainly the weather has been very stable. Uh, not much rain to pass the while, but we are expecting some rain for Saturday and into the morning of Sunday, and some wind with that. But uh, it's been very calm, and uh, we're looking at uh, sometimes temperatures up to six, seven, eight, nine degrees Celsius during the day. But it gets down just about freezing at night and uh, sometimes a little bit of frost on the ground and on the vehicles in the morning and uh, yeah so it's been a it's been a nice fall to be honest with you if this continues on we uh, certainly uh, won't mind looking at uh, winter because we're told this year that we may have a mild and wet winter so not so not so sure about the, uh, the wet but uh, the mild I'll take yeah copy that Andy um, it's, we've had a few 30s in the morning, upper 30s, but it's still hanging in there to the uh, here lately. Last couple of weeks, it's still been in the in the upper 40s. I think the low for last night was 55. It's a beautiful day today. It's uh, very sunny and like 74, 75 degrees for the high. Um, but it's always humid. If the sun's out and it's warm, it's uh, miserable humid here. Um, I won't complain, but I'm just I'm ready for some colder weather that we have very, very little of. We have a very small window of cold weather here. Um, if you don't mind the heat and the humidity, about nine and a half, ten months out of the year, uh, then hey, southern, uh, southern middle Tennessee is the place to be, but I'm not a big fan of it, QSL. Absolutely. Yeah, I can certainly appreciate how hot it is, and I certainly would have to would probably have a difficult time adjusting, but eventually I would. We've had some very warm summers here, uh, with you know high humidity, and yeah, it's it's very hard to sleep. That's the worst part, uh, trying to sleep now. But recently we uh, we installed a heat pump a couple of years ago, and of course it's used for heating. But uh, in in the summer it's really really uh, very efficient for cooling. So uh, we don't have to suffer any more uh, heat, you know, uh, too much, too much heat. Um, we ran it this summer uh, for a full month, like, you know, nice and comfortable in the house. And our light bill, there's no discernible change. It probably went up $10. So it's just crazy how, how, uh, how cheap it is to run for air conditioning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, that's just typically the way it is. But like I say, uh, down there in in, uh, in Tennessee, I would suppose yeah, it's a lot hotter than what it gets here in in in, uh, in Newfoundland. So I'd probably need I probably would need uh, three heat pumps to keep cool if I was plopped down in Tennessee with the, the size of this house. So uh, not that it's that big, but I think it's close to two thousand uh, square feet. But uh, you can imagine just one uh, one floor. Yeah, um, Tennessee gets a lot hotter, for sure. Dallas, I'm not going to keep you, my friend. I certainly want to first uh, uh, congratulate you on your patience, on uh, you know, waiting and uh, getting this video gate. And I'm so glad that we got condition. And uh, it's just absolutely fantastic whenever I can talk to you on radio, for sure, and online. And, of course, to do a video gate is, is a blessing, and, uh, and I certainly do appreciate that, as it uh, it's great for you, and it supports my channel. So... I'm going to back off now. This video is getting into about uh, almost 10 minutes and uh, a bit to upload. I'll get this up for you, my friend, and now uh, you can uh, drop by there. And I will be drop by, dropping by your channel uh, to have a look at what you've been doing lately. And uh, so I thank you. 
uh, 9 Tango Charlie 0 2. We're clear with uh, Dallas UDX 347 in Manchester, Tennessee, and we will be clear on your final. Okay, Andy, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, yeah, you don't have to upload all 10 minutes of it, man. Just uh, a couple minutes will be fine. Uh, always uh, always glad to run across you on the band, and uh, I'll be in touch. I'll keep you posted on the project and how it's coming along, but it looks like it's a few more weeks before uh, I get everything like I want. You know, probably a, probably a month I'll get it, but hey, that's okay. But until then, uh, hey, uh, uh, Hope you uh, remain blessed and healthy, and, uh, and uh, enjoy the DX when we get it. So uh, God bless Andy and uh, 73 to you. Uh, hope all is going well with you and your family and uh, and other things up there. But uh, if you need anything, shoot me an email, and uh, I look forward to crossing paths with you again. Uh, 73 to you. DX 347. Nine single Charlie here too. I'll be clear.